All right, the much anticipated solar eclipse is exactly one week away, and NASA is taking advantage of this rare occurrence to learn more about the sun's effect on Earth and how our planet responds. Fox weather correspondent Brandy Campbell brings you the latest. Well, if you're going to be among millions looking up to the sun and moon during this total eclipse, I'm learning there's more that you should look, listen, and even feel for. On top of that, NASA, they're taking advantage of this rare occurrence to do some experiments. To study how the sun affects the Earth and how our Earth responds to it, so how our atmosphere, and especially the layer that where carries our communication, um, collapses or changes due to the eclipse. Two experiments will happen in the sky on WB-57 aircrafts. Chasing the sun 50,000 feet above Earth, one will capture images to discover more details of the sun's corona, a dust ring around it, and search for asteroids orbiting nearby. As for the second aircraft, we're looking at solar explosions as they come off the sun and figuring out what they're made of. Another uses radar sites around the world. Super Darn looks at the layer of the atmosphere that where communication can be affected and it looks at the turning on and turning off of the sun that happens in the eclipse and its effect on that layer of the atmosphere. Meanwhile, they will launch three rockets before, during, and after the eclipse deploying scientific instruments. We're going up into that layer of the atmosphere Atmosphere, again, where our communication signals are key and studying the changes in density and temperature um, while the eclipse is passing by. Students will also help observing solar active regions in one experiment. Now, I'm learning there are some odd things that can happen during the eclipse, so what should people look out for? It'll get cooler to the fact where you might need a jacket. You can look down and see what the trees do to the eclipse through leaves, um, actually projecting the solar eclipse onto the ground. You should also notice how animals react to this. Crickets might start chirping when it becomes totality. You um, might listen and uh, hear a rooster after, to after uh, the sun comes back from totality, thinking that there was a Time. NASA wants the public to help, submitting information to their Soundscape Citizen Science Project. So we're looking for the sounds that animals make. Um, we're looking for, you know, temperature type changes and how you experience it and how you see things uh, differently uh, during this time. Well, I've got my glasses ready for the eclipse, and I'll see you all from Rochester, New York, for our live team coverage. For now in Miami, I'm Brandi Campbell for Fox Weather.